Okay, I'm going to do a test on a product that I bought. I bought a thermostat. Temperature gauge. And so I have it into the power supply over there. It's 12 volts. And then I have the sensor in the fan for the two pill. And I want to see how sensitive it is. Because it wouldn't be not, it wouldn't be bad to put one of these in your box, you know what I mean? If you want to know what the temperatures is while you're cranking along, I'm sure there's a way we can extend these wires as long as we want. Could put it up by the by uh, by your radio if you're in the mobile, or you could just mount it right in your box if you're in, in the house <clears throat> and you're and you're talking in the base station. Let me key it up. I'm running this two pill. Hey, 6 a you still on a band? I don't wonder if I still got conditions around Chicago. Number two, testing this Scott and picking thermostat right by here. Well, I guess not. I guess I lost all my condition, man. I ain't got no conditions. I guess I got a lot of water. I just ain't got no conditions. I'm gonna sit back and read the mail here in Chicago. Look at that cotton picking two pill. It's on a 2,000 watt scale. What is wrong with this two pill, man? I, I won't even say what the six pill was doing in earlier. You got a video of that. Good the Lord, this ain't right. One driving two. That box ain't going nowhere. That's my box. But I'm just testing out this this uh, temperature control or temperature reading meter. What do you think about that, huh? So it's a good way to check the temperature on the outgoing air of your box. Like I would love that on my 64 pill. Even a 16 pill or whatever else, they heat up pretty quick when you're bumping them hard. I got this thing on the swing side. I bet you if I cranked it up, it would it would go up higher. Should I do that? Nah, I don't need to. Woo, I guess I lost all my condition around Chicago. 22 Illinois and his two pill working my 102 inch steel whip. I'm gonna sit back and read the mail, see if Mother Nature is gonna throw anything else our way, man. Cause I don't know what's going on, but it's what, about 11 o'clock at night? I don't even know what time it is anymore. I think it's after 11 p.m. But I'm gonna sit back and check out this little meter here thermostat meter thermometer whatever you want to call it and see if it's working right huh look at that kind of bigger it's working man that's pretty good let's see if we can hit 100 what do you think about that lord be my mercy i'm putting on some heat on this thing no pun intended <laughs> I'm putting some heat on this guy. I'm picking thermostat, no doubt about it. It's not really a thermostat. It's a thermometer, you know what I'm saying? But who cares? That's what I call it. Got a problem with that? See if we hit 100 with this cotton chopper. A little two pill. 22, 22 Illinois gone. There you go, it's working. Well, I, you know what I did? I read the instructions. That's how come I know how to use it, you know? wasn't sure what to do but i read the instructions here i'll put them on i'll put them on a video for you in case you need them all right i'll just skim skim over them see it says right here 40 centigrade uh 10 percent 90. see what it says here yeah so no charge you get the instructions free but uh I'm happy with it and I actually like the size of it. it it's it's a good size man and I like the face of the meter it's like this smooth look it's pretty cool man I forgot what I paid I think I paid like $12 or something I, I, got, I gotta look it up but anyways pretty cool man I just put the probe wherever I want to put it bada boom but well I shouldn't say that it sounds kind of <laughs> yeah okay right on I put the probe in there, and of course it's not going to go in right now because there you go. So I can check out the temperature of the heat coming out, and I'm sure there's other ways I could use it too. You know, maybe installing it near the transistors inside the box or whatever. But I really like it. 
What do you think? Take a close look at it. I really like the display on it. The display is awesome. It comes where it's reading um, Celsius and you open it up. I'm out to show you. Um, I ain't got no hands. So how am I going to open it up? Um, abracadabra, open up. No, it's, oh, here, in case the instructions on the back, too. See them? Yeah. Isn't that nice? Oh, there's like a little thing here. It says five volt data ground, ground. Okay, that has to do with that plug, but it don't mean anything because it's already set up for the probe and 12 volts. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So once you open it up, you see the two buttons? There's one right there. There's one over there. Let me go like this. There's one, let's see. There's one right there, little white button, and there's one over there. So look at the orientation just so you know. All you gotta do is press that one right over here one time, and it goes from Celsius to Fahrenheit. I'm not a movie. But uh, all in all, I really like it. I think I'm gonna buy a couple of them. Try them in some boxes. Very cool. All right, well, that's it, ladies and gentle beans. It's 11 or 12 o'clock at night again, I'm tired. And uh, I have to start working on some boxes. <laughs> I'll talk to you all, I'll talk to you all later. That's what you get for clowning around.